Is hanging out right now. This is hanging out, tapping his fingers. Say, yep, I'm on name for a reason. I'm Hot Sauce Junkie Tim, and a Fino Pepper. Today's show is going to be a review. Well, actually, today's show is going to be a, a going to be a first for me. It's going to be a first. I'm going to be doing a review on the pepper with no name. Yeah, pepper with no name. It was sent to me from the Ink Gardener, Mike and Tammy, who was one of the Pepper Masters. So they sent me a box of peppers, and one of the peppers in there um, is an unnamed private cross. Cross meaning cross pollinated. So, what's cross pollinating mean? Well, if you guys are outside and you see the bees, you know, they pollen, they pop on the, the flowers. This flower, that flower, that's called cross pollinating. Now, sometimes there's accidental cross pollinating, which is what I just said with the bees and bugs, um, pollinating the uh, dander from one flower to the next. When it comes to peppers, it's the same thing. Now, for me, I've never cross pollinated peppers in my life. Now, from what I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I've learned, because I'm learning, um, basically for pollinating, cross-pollinating peppers, um, you take a fine little paintbrush and you wipe off the dander from a pepper flower and you put it with another pepper plant flower and you cross-pollinate the pollen. And that's how you cross-pollinate a pepper. Right or wrong? Let me know if I'm right or wrong, but that's what I've learned. So, anyways, Ink Gardener, a uh, new company established in 2020. The guys, these guys are all over social media. Um, I actually found them on TikTok, and um, they graciously sent me a box of peppers. Um, and when I grabbed this one here, and it said unnamed private cross, I'm like, oh boy, this should be interesting. So, let's hop to it. So, what got me about this pepper, guys, is the, the, the color. Look at them, look at them red. You got red, you got deep red, you got really, really deep dark red. It kind of resembles like when blood coagulates, but it's when it separates, it gets real dark, dark, dark blood, you got the light blood. That's what this looks like. So, kind of creepy. Check that out, guys. Look who it was. Beautiful color. Love it. Nice work. So, guys, I have no idea how hot this is going to be because I I know nothing about it. I don't know what it's crossed with. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know nothing. It's unnamed. It's unheard of. It's really interesting to see what they call this thing. All right. Let's hop to it. Did you guys see that grid cruncher off the bat? I love that sound. The sound with a crunch. Ooh, this one's hot. I'm getting, I'm getting a ghost pepper aroma. It smells really hot. The aroma it smells really hot. But this color in this thing is awesome. Let's hear some more crunch, all right? I don't know if you guys need that or not, but it's got some crunch. Love me some crunchy peppers. All right, we're gonna open this thing up here. Wow. This thing's definitely got some oils to it. Um, it's got some thin walls to it, but some deep crevices. What right happens with deep crevices? That's where the oil sits. It's an interesting aroma. It smells damn hot. It's got, so it's got a ghost pepper aroma to it, but I'm getting something else, like a tart, a tart aroma as well. And I'm trying to put my finger on it. Hmm. Let's see how 
what this bad boy is. This is the unnamed, the unheard of, the uncalled, the ungrateful. Pepper from Ink Gardner. Let's do this. Get my upper lip numb before. <clears throat> that's good. That is a really good. That's a really good hot pepper. Um, it's not crazy hot. Um, I definitely put it, I'll put it above a habanero. <clears throat> um, getting warm. This thing. So don't give in my uh, my heat skin, my heat rating right away because yeah, let it work. It's magic. It's magic. Let's go down the digestive tract and. Do what it wants to do with your body. Um, it's definitely burr the back of the throat right now. It's just hanging out right now. It's just hanging out with Gavin's fingers. Say, yep. I'm on name for a reason. Exactly. <clears throat> All right, Hank Gardner, Mike and Tammy, self proclaimed Pepper Masters. Again, they're based out of Oklahoma. Small business just getting out there, guys. Social media, they got TikTok, they got Instagram, they got Facebook, they got YouTube. It's warm. It's a warm one. The cool thing about that pepper, I love the color. Yeah, I love the color thing. I love that, that the red, the dark red, the maroon. It's a vicious looking pepper. <clears throat> this dude vicious leaves the back of my throat right now, that's for sure. Heat scale for me, I will give this a good. I give us a, I'll give us a five. Oh, five. Just, just, just hit that five crease. Um, still got the numbness on the upper lip, but um, delicious pepper. Again, guys, I don't know what you cross this with, but uh, it's damn good. Um, throat burn is starting to dissipate a little bit. Now it's kind of in the back of the tongue. So the pepper oils is, is doing whatever it wants to do to me right now. It's hot. It's it's hot. I think yeah, a five. That's a five for sure. So again, it's an unnamed pepper. Um, I cannot wait to hear what you guys are gonna call this thing. Um, I will not keep the seeds in this because this is your creation. As you can see it. I ate the whole thing. Um, so. Uh, Let's give them some ideas, guys. Guys, drop comments down below. Let's uh, let's help Tammy and Mike figure out a name for this pepper. Uh, let's see what see what they think of our suggestions. Whew, that's hot. Whew. So thanks for hanging out, guys. Next time, hot sauce, Jack and Tim.